Hey, this is Jim Kamarik, and today we are taking a look at the Pro Intercom BP1 belt pack. And the purpose of this video is to discuss how you can change the mic switch from being a latching switch to being a momentary contact switch like the signal button. Um, a lot of people, myself included, gets very frustrated when you're using intercom system and the mic buttons always latch and people just forget and turn them on and you're constantly having to remind people to turn their mics off so you don't have a lot of noise over the intercom. So the goal here is to convert this to momentary contact. And the information being presented here was actually given to me by Pro Intercom. This is something that is perfectly fine for the end user to do if they choose to do it. It does not void your warranty at all. Uh, and it's actually quite easy. So we have the belt pack here. We have a pair of needle nose pliers. We have a screwdriver and we have a cup of coffee. To get started, we need to remove these four screws from the back of the unit. Once the screws are removed, there is a rubber retaining gasket on the back panel that we can remove. And then this entire back section here slides out and with it, it pulls out the circuit board. You need to remove this. And as you do, remove it carefully because there is a wire from the circuit board leading to the LED signal mounted on the front panel. And here we can see the two switches. These two switches are actually identical um, in how they work, just the front buttons are a little bit different. The signal button uh, does not latch. The call button, however, does. And if we take a little closer look here, you can see this little pin here that follows this little triangular pattern causing the latching action. And to make this a momentary contact switch, all we actually have to do is remove that little pin. So we will put this down here. And there's a little spring here that uh, makes the button pop back out, but it also retains this little end of that clip. So if we reach in and pull this pin out, once the spring is out of the way, and then let the spring go back into its original, original position, the switch is now momentary contact. And that's all there is to it. If in the future you decide you want to resume having it being a latching action, all you need to do is Take this pin, which of course you did not discard, and kept in a safe place. Pull the little spring forward again to get it out of the way. Then reach in and drop it into the holes that it was originally in. Let the spring pop back forward over the clip. And now we have a latching switch again. Uh, to complete this, uh, the change, we really just need to slide this back together. And I don't recall offhand which slot this goes into, but I think this looks right. And I think the wire might be a little bit in the way, so let's make sure. That when we slide it in, that wire won't block anything. The buttons have come through just fine like they were before. So that looks pretty good. Now we just need to put the rubber gasket back on. And put the screws back in. And there we go. 
That is how you change the mic switch on the BP-1 Pro intercom belt pack from being latching to being momentary contact.